Welcome once again. In this Photoshop short I'm going to demonstrate my method for simulating film grain. One of the features of digital imaging as opposed to film technology is how clean the digital image appears in comparison. But this is not always a good thing. Sometimes we want to create an image which has a more textural analog feel. So one way to make our images appear more film-like is to add pseudo film grain. First of all I'm going to work with this monochrome image. The very fact of using monochrome might suggest that we're harking back to the good old days of black and white film and darkroom printing. So here goes. First we need to create a new layer. Go to Layer, New Layer, or use the keystroke Control, Shift and N for a PC, or Command, Shift and N for a Mac. Name your layer Grain. Then choose Overlay as the blending mode. And finally check the Fill with Overlay Neutral Color 50% Grey option. Next we'll add the grain to this layer. Go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Choose Gaussian to create a less uniform grain and select Monochrome for the noise type. Then drag the slider to achieve the desired level of noise or grain. It's important to exercise some restraint, but the level of grain apparent in your image at this stage is much greater than we're going to finish up with. As a guide I recommend around 30 to 35%. And then click OK. So having set the amount of grain, we can now increase the size of the grain. Go to Edit, Transform. There are a number of transformation tools available, perhaps the most appropriate here is Scale, although I prefer simply to use the free transform tool. And so we can now increase the size of the grain layer and scale up the size of the grain. Press Return to complete the transformation. Now if we zoom into 100% we can see that this grain effect is a little fierce, it's way more pronounced than we really need, and this would look pretty awful in print form. To complete the grain effect, simply reduce the opacity of the grain layer until you achieve the level of grain that you want. I find somewhere between 20 and 35% opacity it looks pretty authentic to me. Switch off the layer visibility to gauge the effect. OK, so that's pretty straightforward for a monochrome image, but what about colour? Here's a colour image, and essentially the technique is the same. Start off by creating a new layer. Call it Grain, set the Blend Mode to Overlay, and check Fill with 50% Grey. Then go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Choose a similar percentage, but this time uncheck the Monochrome option. Then press OK. Now if we zoom into 100% we can see some very obvious noise which doesn't actually look that great. Once again we can drop the opacity to reduce the effect, but it still doesn't look quite right to me. The grain is too obvious, too sharp. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And blur the grain layer by a small amount, probably a value of one pixel is enough. Too much and the grain will disappear completely. Finally, we're going to reduce the saturation of this coloured grain layer. Create a hue and saturation adjustment layer by selecting the appropriate icon in the adjustments panel. Now if at this point we adjust the saturation it will affect the whole image, not just the grain layer. So click on this funny looking icon here and you will link the adjustment to the layer immediately below. Thus any adjustment will only affect that layer. Reduce the saturation to tone down the colour noise. And so what we're left with is a reasonably authentic looking colour negative film grain. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, then why not share it? Why not subscribe? And why not have a look at what else is available on duncanshepherd.co.uk?